Hi guys, my name is Lua. Welcome to the Frame Achieve channel. Today we'll talk a little bit about my college experience while I clean up my grungy bag of paints and <laughs> why did I say paints? Um, paint brushes and oil paints and inks and I'm saying everything wrong. I'm nervous. Um, that's just how it's gonna go. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go talking a little bit about my experience, and I'm gonna go sorting like what I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna let out, and talk a little bit about it. So, yeah. so starting, we have my apron. My apron is rude. My mom made it for me. I have it since the beginning of college and um, it's been with me ever since. <laughs> uh, it was too expensive to buy one so I wanted to get many one for me. So we have that. And well, I started um, college on 2016. If you don't know, I'm from Brazil. And on here, you can get a free college if you do like a test. So I did that and I passed and I joined the college. Uh, during 2016, a lot of things happened, but uh, I'm going to try to focus a little bit on painting this time. I think I can do like various videos talking about my college experience because if I've been in college for seven years now. And I'm sure I'll finish it with it. And um, I think there's a lot I can talk about. <laughs> so let's just start talking about paints. So okay, this brush it is in very good condition. I was able to get this in very good condition. It's like what five years that I got into paints. Um, I was introduced to oil paints around 2000, around 2028, 2020, around 2018. So in 2018, I had this class of painting. Like the, it was one of the first classes that was like you could choose your own classes it wasn't like obligatory classes and on this class oh my god i have acrylic stuff here as well and in this class look at this this is literally it's stiff I cannot paint with this anymore. I'm gonna keep this as I'm gonna make two piles. One pile is the one I'm gonna keep, and the other pile is the one I'm gonna try to either restore or I'm going to see which brush was it so I can buy a new one. I'm gonna do that. But yeah, I had this class, it was not obligatory, and um, I did it. I did it. I also I always like painting because I like beautiful painting. And on my college, something that I really that I can talk in other videos, I want to make this video too long. But I remember I always wanted to make that digital painting class, and we don't have that. It's mostly traditional stuff. So I was like, well, I can like kind of learn how to make the traditional paintings, and maybe that'll make me happy. And honestly, it did, and it was really hard at first, I felt really bad because everyone there had skills um, better than my doing paintings, like my first paintings are very rough, and I remember they were very abstract, but um, I just kept trying and I kind of got the taste of it and I couldn't stop. Like, I just kept doing class after class after class of, of, of traditional painting until I had one class that was like very brief. It was like one three, three. Um, we would introduce different mediums of 
the thingy and stuff. So we had classes about natural pigments, acrylics, wash, um, watercolor. And at one point, we got to oils. And I always had a struggle with... Um, I always had a struggle. Oh, look at this. This is in horrible state. I'm gonna have to go. I don't know what I'm gonna do to this. It's in a horrible state. I don't know. This is actually this is from 2018 as well. Uh, my mom made this to hold my pencils, but I think now I'm gonna. It's pink, of course, because I always I've always loved pink. So I think I need a new one. This is really beat up. Uh, help. But yeah, uh, we have classes in different mediums. Um, we had classes in different mediums, and I remember I always struggled with how acrylics dry really, really fast. So when I actually found out about oils, like the first time, the very first time, I was doing like this very simple portrait. Um, I remember actually, I think I did Angie Yonaga from the Europa. Um, I did Angie, and it's, it's, this was when like the tree was new, like, but this is another story <laughs> for another day. Um, but. I remember I did that and I fell in love with it. So I was like, that's what I want to do. Like that's what I want to use to paint all the time. Because I was so impressed by how oils just um they blended so well. So I was I was I was in love. And I haven't changed ever since honestly. I mostly 99% if not a hundred percent of my paintings are on with oil, like as you can get one painting this this year or last year, no, I think it's this year for a class that was with acrylics with the afternoon of acrylics, but other than that, I, I almost feel like I'm So, yeah, that's my story with oil. And I remember I've been taking more and more classes. Of paintings, and now I'm sad because I'm on the last part of college, and I'm really close to my. I think it's what you call the BFA, and to finish it, I need to make more theoretic classes. So I make, need to make classes that are more like reading material or less room stuff, and that's boring. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm really saving up for our college for that. This, this is pristine. Look at this. I should have this. It's one of the only ones that I kept this. It's brand new. And I used this a lot. How did I manage this? Nobody knows. But I did. Okay, so like... Um, my journey in college, I'm gonna break it, I'm gonna talk about my journey in college, nobody asked, but here we go. Um, when I joined, I had high ass expectations about it being like, oh my god, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn the ways of a digital art, I'm gonna learn how to be a freelancer, guess what I didn't learn, that. So, I didn't learn anything about that. I did not anything about that. Like I learned how to make a portfolio. This is a first time. I learned how to make a portfolio, but that was kind of useless. Look at the state of this paint. So sad. But it's too like new and they're blood. I'm not throwing any of this out. These paints were really expensive. No, 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 I'm keeping everything. Um, I remember I was so excited and when I found out that most of it was just 
greatest things in the art and traditional art. I was like, I did. I like, I thought I would drop it out so many times. Like, I thought I would literally lose my heart. Okay. No. I thought I would leave him college more times I can count in two hands. And I didn't. There were some there were some close calls. There were some really close calls. But I'm still there. I, I'm still there. I'm still there. I'm still still there. But yeah, um Honestly, I had the worst times in college because I literally would I would not go well on anything. It was horrible and I was feeling like if you like if you're in college right now, I just wanna tell you something. If you're in college right now and you feel like hey, I don't think I fit here. But I want to finish it because I feel like art is my thing and it, the degree will help me do it. Not saying that if you're doing horribly, you can, you can drop it too, like it's okay. But like you can do it too because like if you if, if think that everybody is like, okay, I think my art is better than yours and if you think everybody's doing it after you because the guitar is not good enough, but I don't think like people should care about that. It's so, oh, so boring, dude. That's disgusting. 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 Um, I don't think people truly care about that. <laughs> it's what I've learned. I mean, there are some teachers that are literally the devil. Like, I've had to. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this should be thrown out. Maybe. I'll decide later. <laughs> Maybe that should be thrown out. Um, but I have some teachers that were really, really devil. And like. Teachers that made me cry. Like, they made me fucking cry. Like. Because of how mean they were. Like that will happen. And if you want to drop another stiff brush, okay, this is going to drag and I remember this was like one buck. Not even one dollar, like one DRL, which is way less than a dollar. I'm showing this to trash. This is going to trash. That's going to trash. Oh no, I should keep this to I should buy another one. Like that. Because that one is really good for blending. <laughs> It's really cheap and really good for brands. I like it. Some teachers are the devil. And there's no way you can escape that. Like, there's no way you can escape that. And it's kind of sad about college because, like, you think, oh, I'm growing up, I'm, I'm grow up and I'm leaving middle school. And um, now I won't have to deal with the terrible teachers anymore. And then, bam, bam. Suddenly, there's more shitty teachers at your disposal. My trusty palette knife that is purple, and I love it very much. And yeah, I honestly, my message out there for people who are in college are you can do this. I imagine it's way harder if you are in the US because here you don't move away from the family and stuff. To go to college, I'm sure with my family here, and I go to college simply like it's I take a bus and I go there. Um, but yeah, maybe this is not good as well. <laughs> but yeah, I take a bus and I go there. But I also think that if you want to follow your degree, you know, degree is really important for your career. Do it. Not saying that's the only way, like you can be self taught too, but like in my case, degree is important of what I want to do. And, and you ask what I want to do. I don't know. Because I keep okay. You might think you will be a adult and you have everything figured out and really refined. No. <laughs> no. The fact that I'm or doesn't make me any less clueless. I'm very clueless. I'm actually 
actually jumping back and forth. Oh, I know the real cheap first. I'm gonna set this up. Um, I'm very clueless on what I want to do. I'm very clueless. And I kind of don't know. Like, I want to be a graphic novel writer, artist, drawer, drawer, drawer. I want to be, um, I want to work in the game industry. It's something that I've wanted to do for a while with concept art. It's something that I need a degree to do that here. I need a degree to do that after the way, so the degree helps me. So. I, the reason why I started is because I wanted to work with either game design or storyboarding and I'm doing the college because of that um, or I could just work on a normal ass job <laughs> but I need a degree to help me get into a normal ass job so either way I cannot escape and I don't know what I'm doing and I'm pretty sure you also don't know what you're doing we're together on this Yay! We're together on adulthood. Adulthood is scary and it can be confusing, but we can do this. We can do this. And that's a wrap, you guys. Um, let me know in the comments if you want a video of me babbling and cleaning up my acrylics as well. I didn't want to make this video too long or too boring, so I just stopped on the oil for today and thank you for watching um it was a pleasure to be here and see you next time